<laughs> the sound of the disconnect. Did it? Can you, can you hear me? Yeah. Yes, there we go. Okay. Now we can hear you. I don't know what's happening. That thing showed up weird on my phone. Oh. What? Uh. Your stream's back. Just came back, yeah. Okay. Okay. Hey. So you're no. good. I have no idea. All right, everybody ready? Yes. Hey. Yes. Yeah. I, why, why would we need to be ready? It's not like, you know. Everything's fine. Happen, right? Alright, so you have the sword placed on the dude's helmet, and she starts reciting the prayer, and it's just a bunch of, it's like a language like none of you understand. Um, okay. I can't comp she, uh, what is it, comprehend, comprehend languages. languages. <laughs> uh, your brain explodes because it's a language that doesn't exist in this plane of existence. Great, yeah, power down player, awesome. <laughs> You take 100 D10 psychic damage. Woof. I hope. Wait, 100 D10. <laughs> yep. The yep, minimum is. Uh, it's. Yeah. Right. Wait, you about that's average. literally. That gives me exactly negative 500 health. <laughs> Dude. Nice. Alright. So. She clears your throat starts reciting this uh uh thing R ritual uh and katie can yeah. i get a constitution saving throw um oh boy we succeed so you take uh five points of force damage as you can feel some magical energy beaming up through the sword and into your body. Okay. Um, yeah. As that happens, three wisps of energy spew out of the helmet surrounding the party. Everybody roll initiative. Ooh, yeah, Wait, I should probably press myself when that's this. Yeah, you should probably hit your token when you do that. I'll change yours to an 18. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to disable hardware acceleration on my browser. Come on. Let me edit, please. Thank you. All right. Everybody rolled? Mm-hmm. Yep. All right. Bothrama, you are stuck holding the sword to the... Helmer. Yep. You can't do anything. Hack it, it's your turn. Nice. Uh I take this person. Over there. Which one? This one. That one. Well actually that okay. one. Wait, there's oh. one over here, right? Yeah. This person. Okay, I'll just attack that one, I guess. Okay. Uh both of those what? hit? Seven and eight. All right. Anything else? Uh, I move back a bit just so. That's it. All right, so Ben, you're up. Um. Uh, okay. I'm just gonna go over here. Rage. And then swing swang. Okay. Uh, which is this one down. And then uh, weed whacker. Uh, the first one hits, the second one does not. Oof. 16. All right, anything else? And then move back. Uh, if you move back, uh, you were within five feet, so we can opportunity attack you. Okay. Alright, what's your armor class? Uh, uh, 22. 
Uh, it hits, dealing six points of lightning damage. That's fine. All right. Anything else? Nope. All right. This wisp is going to move up here. Sven, or sorry, Shep, can I get a constitution saving throw, please? Um, so Shep is unconscious. Uh, you're at zero hit points. And uh, the wisp grows extremely larger. Um, sorry, what? Because, because I think I know the stat block of these things. Uh, well, I technically made it a little bit nicer, but we can do the stat block if you want. You just failed the DC 10 con saving throw for consume life, yeah, which no, is supposed it, to kill you. If it's what I know, if it's what I think it is, I believe I have to already be at zero for it to use that. It can see you five feet of it that has, oh, that has zero hit points. Okay, you're right, my bad. I thought that's it that doesn't have zero hit points and is still alive. My bad. Cool. Uh, well, then he's just going to go ahead and shock you then. Uh, and you, what's your armor class? 18. Uh, you get hit for seven points of lightning damage. Uh, this guy is going to fly over here and try to shock the warlock. Wow. And he misses. I nice. cannot believe he missed. Um. All right. Yeah, I think that's everything. All right, Chef, your turn. Well, first off, I'd like to point out that I don't know what changed, but no, my armor class is not 26. Hmm. For some reason, my... My character sheet was saying it was 26. I'm showing 18. I don't know why your character is showing 26. I just changed it back. Okay. That is weird. Alright, it's your turn. Yep. Um. I guess I will cast Spiritual Weapon. Okay. Yeah, I should have done that first. Does spiritual weapon require concentration? Nope. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, then you hit that one. Awesome. Anything else? And it's now damaged, so with my action, I'll cast Toll of the Dead. Alrighty. Um... He failed to save. He takes four, four points damage. of damage. Alright, anything else? I will move over here. Alrighty, Rhea, you're up. Alright. Da, 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 da. Okay. Um. Which one of these is the most damaged? Um, they've or all looks taken the pretty big. They, they, they all take a pretty beefy dose. Fuck. Uh, I'll deal with this one, Nori. Okay. It seems like he's got that one handled. Did, did. And then whack this one. Okay. Early swing for it. Uh. Wait, uh, what? why do you have the... advantage? Normal, there we go. The oh, first one hit earlier. We'll just say your first attack was the 10 and the 20. Um, and the 20 hits, so. Okay. Well, they both did 9 damage, so, yeah. Yeah, so you, it, it takes 9 points of damage. Okay. Alright, anything else? Uh, no, she's gonna stay there. Awesome. Blinking, you're up. Disengage. Okay. Anything else? Nope. Alright, Bothrama, give me a constitution saving throw. Oh. Uh, you're able to fight back the force uh, energy that was coming out of the sword, uh, so you do not take any additional damage. Oh, good. Starting round two. All right, Hackett, you're up. 
That's why you were like, oh yeah, if this were in combat, it would be fun. You have disadvantage because you're within five feet of it making a ranged spell attack. Oh, I see. Your first one is going to be a 19, which still hits, so you would have to roll your next one at disadvantage. All right, the second one misses. Okay, so the first one hit, I'll just press 19 on. 11 damage. And your bolt of force energy ex- hits it and explodes Yay. out of existence. Right. Easy. Anything else? Uh, bye bye. I'll walk over here. Alrighty, Sven, you're up. Uh, ding. Swipe, swipe. And, uh, boop, 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 boop. Oh, shit. 16, 21, the 16. The first one hits. Okay. Alrighty. And you've crushed this one out of existence. Oh, good. And right. move right back. Alrighty. Uh, this wisp is going to... Uh, well, oh, D6 actually kind of sucks. <laughs> cool. Uh, this thing is just going to go ahead and try to shock... Uh, uh, Shep, uh, does a 20 hit? Yep. Uh, that's 11 points of shock damage, of lightning damage. Alright, Shep, you're up. Hit it with Call the skull. Man, kill this person. That hits. And he dissipates with that blow. Yay! Easy. Right. Is there anything else you want to do? I will move there and prepare um, Chill Touch for anything that pops up. Mm. All right, Rhea. Is Rhea going to uh, do anything? Just move here and prepare for anything to get within melee range. Awesome. Blinken? Parish an arrow. Alrighty. Uh, and Bothurma, give me a constitution saving throw. Alright. Uh, oh my gosh, this is so incredibly on screen. It's so fucking bad sometimes. Ah, sorry, I'm looking for the note right now. It's okay. Awesome. So that does not succeed. We need to see what the DC was. Uh, so you get blasted with 10 points of force damage coming out of the sword. Okay. All right. And now we begin round three. And as you get hit with the force energy coming from the blade, three more wisps fly out of the crown. Oops. My game is. Oh, man. I really need to turn off hardware acceleration. And you feel a deep rumbling from coming from behind the altar. All right. Hackett, it's your turn. Uh, My prepared action would go off. My prepared action would go off, too. People who prepared attacks. Okay, cool. So, chill touch. Is chill touch within a range? It's, uh, yeah, range attack. Cool. Which one are you using? Which one are you hitting? Okay. Uh, That does not hit. All right, Sven is not within melee range. Um, what's her face? Rhea is not within melee range. So, uh, Blinken, which one are you going to try to shoot? Okay. But you guys still have your prepared action, so if they come close on their turn, except Sven's going to lose this. But All right. Oh, yeah, that crits. That definitely hits. All right, this one looks super fucked up. <laughs> All right, anything else? Actually, no. yeah. I, okay, so there, there's everybody's reactions. All right, Packet, you're up. What is this skull here? That's a spiritual weapon. Oh, I see. Friendly. <laughs> blue team, blue. 
<laughs> friendly fire, friendly fire. Friendly, friendly. <laughs> I, I, guess the, I guess the first one hits. So this one. To that one up there? Yeah. Oh, wait, I'll move hits, back the and then I'll hit this one. Okay. And I don't one hits, see anything on that square. You don't see anything it's on that square? Time. No. Weird. Hmm. I only weird see the see one it. by Ambrose. Does uh, anybody else might... not see it? You might want to reload, Kitty. Oh. I think you're missing the other one too. Yeah. One sec, stream. We're gonna. Uh, so that's seventeen. Avada Kedavra. <laughs> All right. Anything else? Oh uh, no. All right, Sven, you are up. Okay. La, 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 la. Swing. Okay, I think that first one hits. Okay, and you there filled it with the first hit. The second one is gonna miss. Okay. Um, I'm gonna move here. Alrighty, it's the wisps' turn. Shep is going to try to be shocked. But it's not going to succeed very well. What are these things? Speed. Ooh. All right. This guy's going to take an opportunity attack by Sven. Okay. Uh, you would think I'm, I'm, I'm prepared for this. Okay. <laughs> Would there be a raged warhammer hit? No. Yeah. No, you don't get the or, rage bonus it, on an opportunity not, attack? You get the rage, you don't get the radiance. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, that misses. Anyways. With? <laughs> Alright, and so he's gonna fly over. What's your armor class, uh, Blinken? Uh, 15. Fuck, he misses. <laughs> Blinken, Blinken lives still hasn't another taken damage. damage. Plinkin has taken fireball damage from the beginning fucking dungeon, and that is it. It's glorious. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, Shep, you're up. Alright, spiritual weapon. That hits. And he's out of existence. Woo! Oh. In which case, uh. Toll the dead on that one. Is it taking uh, he damage? He has not taken damage yet. Mm -hmm. He makes a save! Excuse me. Anything else? I'll move here. This seems to be safer closer in. <laughs> Alright, Rhea, you're up. Um. Uh, she's gonna prepare an action if anything gets within melee range. All right, blinking. Um. Run. Disengage. All right, anything else? No, Blinken is a coward. Bothermont can make constitution saving throw. Does that apply? Uh, well, all within 10 feet of each other, I gain advantage on... Okay, well, it's not a spell saving throw that you're making, no. And magical effect? No. That's broad. I'm going to rule no right now if it ends up being different later, then okay. I will correct it for later. Can you see that roll? Mm hmm Yep. 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 Bathroom off. And you take 10 points of force damage. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, this thus begins round four, and the ground starts shaking more and more violently. Um, and as the ground starts to shake, you hear a roar 
from behind the, the podium as a minotaur busts through the back of the wall with just roaring in rage. And he has now joined initiative. As soon as I can pull open his character sheet. Oh, did I just click reckless? Did people start doing survival checks? What? No. Oh. I just pressed the random. Okay. Um. Oh god, he's six. He's already in position. Okay. Cool. Um. Yeah. Alrighty. Hackett, it's it, your turn. I I think that's Hackett's role to just not shit himself at least a minotaur. <laughs> Fair enough. Minotaurs are scary, and he was almost killed by one very recently. <laughs> almost. Poor HP. <laughs> At least you managed to stabilize. Yeah, you guys can handle that wisp over there, right? I'm gonna just gonna fire the minotaur with uh. You're a warlock, eldritch blast. They both hit. They both hit. Yeah. Making 20, 23, 23, 23 points of damage. Awesome. Uh, anything else? And then I move over here. Yoink. Okay. Oh my god. Behind the thing. He's not charging at me. <laughs> okay. Uh, Sven, you're up. Okay, so. Hypothetical. Right? <laughs> if I were to, for say, oh, I don't know, take multiple potions, rip the tops off as though they were grenades, and then <laughs> shove them down the throat of somebody, is that my attack action? You could do that with one potion. <laughs> with one potion, could, but I, is that my it. attack? I mean, it's not an attack. It's an it's action. An if you want to feed somebody a potion, it's an action. Okay, if I have the whole multi-attack, does that negate no. both of them, or just one? No, so what multi-attack does is when you take the attack action, you get mm -hmm. to do multiple attacks. So you don't get multiple actions. Yeah. It's um, e so it's easier to you swing can feed a... one potion. It's easier to swing a sword twice than to find a potion in your backpack, pull it out, unstop it, and put it down somebody's throat in such a way that they don't choke on it. Okay. I mean, she presumably enjoys yeah. the choking, but... There's a difference between choking and drowning. It's just a different game. To you. Man. Um, okay. <laughs> to you. <laughs> okay, so since I don't want to lose my rage, I'm going to have to engage. So. Let's see, actually, what's your moving distance, you fucking fat ass? If you take care of the wisp, I can heal her. Yeah, do what? If you kill the wisp, I can use my bonus action to heal her. Hmm. Okay. It, they did say the ritual is going to take 30 seconds, and it's been four rounds, so you could have one more round of combat. Alright. Uh, swing, swing. Or one more round of the ritual. Alright. The second one, the first one misses, yeah. second one hits. Second one hits, okay. <laughs> Uh, 12 Zoom plus doesn't exist. <laughs> 7, so 17, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24. Yeah, you've just you've just blown it up. Mm-hmm. Alright. Okay. Day ruined. Shep, you're up. Uh, I will pull a bead off of my necklace to cat as a bonus action to cast uh, cure wounds on. Yay, Popper Bog gets 12 hit points. Thank you, Cancer. Then I'll run over here, throw a chill touch at the Minotaur. Fuck yeah. Okay. That hits. Whoa. Anything else? Yeah. I'll yell. Um. Are you sure your mother was a bull? You looked more like a dirty old goat. Fuck. Ooh. 
that's rich coming from you. Right. Yeah, there's a reason I moved. <laughs> yeah. All right, Ray, it's your turn. <clears throat> okay, what's your movement speed, badass? Uh. Um. Good Rhea would know this because she took it. it. If they charge, they do extra shit. Yeah. Yeah. Rhea took a couple charges. Yeah. Yeah. To the ass. Wasn't here for that. So what? So. Basically, if they have running uh, like, distance... Like, don't stand in their path. <sighs> yeah, if they thing. could get a certain amount of movement Actually, distance... It's yeah. like, if they, could move, if they could move 10 feet and then use their gore ability, they get the gore ability damage and then charge the additional effects for charging. But if Which you one? choke up on them and get right up next to them, they can't charge. Yeah. So you either have to be really, really far away or really, really close. Okay. <clears throat> swing, swing, like usual. That's or... a familiar feeling for her. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Go ahead. Both hit. Damn. Nine. Uh, Seventeen points of damage. Nice. All right. Anything else? Um. No. Lincoln, you're up. <clears throat> Old reliable. And the twenty three hits. Oh. All right. Anything else? Oh, action surge, I guess. <laughs> Damn, Jesus. Both, both hit. It's like, so I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna swing. Okay. Now I want to do that again. <laughs> both of those hit. My God. Uh, so 17 plus 14 is uh, 31. He's now bloody. Wow. So he dies. Um. <laughs> no, he's not dead. He's just bloodied. Alright, anything else? Alright. He is going to back up and suffer an opportunity attack from Rhea. Uh... Da, 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 swing bat a swing Ooh. okay that hits perfect and then he is going to recklessly gore Rhea he's going to charge recklessly which means he has advantage and everybody else will have advantage on him next turn he crits oh fuck oh no um, <laughs> oh no can I get a strength saving throw from Rhea? Oh no! Okay. <laughs> One shot. Uh. Let. Okay. Give me one. Okay, at least she made the strength saving throw. Like, barely. So, she, sorry, I had to add some pluses up. Um, so she takes 45 points of piercing damage. Oh, but manages to keep her... 45. 45. But she manages to keep her feet on the ground instead of getting thrown back 10 feet into the wall. Nice. Yeah, Bothrama, um, give me a constitution saving throw. Awesome. You avoided the damage. Woo! All right, and as you make that constitution saving throw, all of the piles of glittery dust from the wisps on the ground disappear. Uh, Older Ravenguard fries out in agony, and the helm is ripped off of his head and thrown about 20 feet onto the ground by some unknown force. There seems to be a red energy kind of wispy energy that comes out from the helmet and dissipates into the sky. Oh. Older Raven Guard falls over on the ground unconscious, and so does the priestess. Oh. Someone should wear the helmet. 
No. Uh, what? All right. Thick nope. Okay, so you used your last little bit of the, your last action to go ahead and do the turn. Um, hack it. It's now your turn. Hew, hew. Uh, both of them hit. Oh. The Minotaur is oh. finally not looking very good. Woo! With advantage, right? Uh, yeah, but you hit him. No, that's that's fine. fine. I don't really care. Crit fish. Yeah. Crit fish. All right, Sven, you're up. Okay, so I looked it up. It does extend to this, but from here, do okay. So what exactly is this? This That's is a wall. wall. That's a pillar. How okay? How tall does it reach? Like fifty or sixty feet in the air. Okay, did Blinken make a shot and hit that? He no, Blinken stepped here. back and then yeah. moved back. Okay. Um, what's your movement speed? Forty. Oof. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, you can make it there. And, and then fire an arrow. It. Yep, yep, yep. And my, uh, I have yet to make a rage version of this, but the damage does carry over. Rage does not. It only does melee. Yeah. Or divine fury. I think you're divine works on it when you, yeah that's what i'm talking about when you're uh, when you're raging the first creature you hit gets an extra 1d6 doesn't have to deal with anything when it comes to uh melee okay. damage so what, what we'll do is uh just go ahead and, and roll your to hit and if you hit and don't kill it we'll roll the radiant damage okay. <laughs> oh. Both shots miss of course it did i'm yeah. so angry you miss but rage is maintained yep still maintained oh, he has, still he has advantage uh, you have advantage. Oh shit, so you could roll okay. one more, technically. And... Ah, hey. hits. Alright, so that's- is that a standard long- oh, it doesn't matter for this guy. Um, go ahead and roll your radiant damage. Which is a... Six. That- you literally needed one point of radiant damage to kill nice. him, so... Nice! Uh, yeah, you slown- slewn the beast with an arrow. Beautiful. And he falls over dead. Yeah, you guys did it! Woo! Initiative is over. Alright. So you now have an unconscious acolyte and an unconscious older raven guard with a helm 20 feet on the floor. Uh, the sword that was in your hands, Angst, um, yeah. as soon as you set it down when the ritual was over, it just crumbled into dust. Oh, that sucks. Um, I rolled a 23 yep. for our con earlier to know if we should put that helm on or not. Mm -hmm. Um, you typically... Uh, it no. seems like whatever happened was a kind of a possession kind of thing. So, as in you have exercised or removed whatever was implanted into the helmet that caused the possession to begin with. So, uh, or in lack of a better term, it's cleansed now. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you're not entirely sure what would happen if you put it on. Uh... Alright, I'm gonna grab the helmet. I think it's over here somewhere. I meant I think to put so. that in your chat, like, put it on, put it on, put it on. Well, I, 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 I forgot to. <laughs> no, you can put it on, I don't care. Is it... uh... I'll put it on. You're putting it on? Yep. Alright, give me a constitution- I'm just kidding. Uh... <laughs> Who's ready? <laughs> so as you put on the helmet, you T-pose. Oh, cool. And your eyes kind of roll into the back of your head a little bit, and you start to see flashes. Uh, uh, hold on one second. This is the part that's super frustrating. <laughs> okay. So, while the city's flashes that you're seeing, and you're audibly saying this out loud uncontrollably, Mm -hmm. um, 
is you see a bloodied woman in armor, a soldier wearing clothes and crest of Elturel, grasping a longsword that's just brilliant and glorious longsword. Um, oh. And there's fresh blood that's streaming from a nasty cut on her face. Yeah. And then there's a flash, and then you see that next to the woman is a small golden elephant with rapidly fluttering wings. You recognize those oh, blue God. ones. And then there's a flash as a giant demon uh, threatened to devour the woman. Um, she panicked, looked around, and uh, plunged the sword into the ground um, at her feet. The, tr- the elephant had made a loud trumpeting sound with its trunk. And the demon was hurled back as an alabaster palace rose up around the sword. Wow. sword. You see that the elephant fled and took to the sky, uh, red skies of Avernus, um, and watched as a bloody scab grew from the ground to engulf the palace and the enormous demon. It cuts again, and you see what looks like a much more tired, a much more weary winged elephant flying around. Uh, wandering around Avertus and Derillium before coming to two odd bird-like humanoids dressed in patchwork armor <laughs> and standing, bless you, and standing <laughs> next to a strange infernal vehicle. The bird creatures were equipped with odd weapons and tools. And after this happens, that after you see this last flash, you kind of clutch your head in pain um, as the helmet flies off 20 feet into the air spinning and lands on the ground a couple feet from you. Hmm. And you are taken aback and just kind of, you know, sit down where you are on the ground just to avoid falling and are breathing very heavily. Hmm. Lulu flies around and is like, it's me. No. Lulu is like, I I remember what that is. I the That demon lord, that, that demon lord, what? his name Yen Yenog I'm gonna type it in for you guys Yen Ogu Yenogu is it Yenogu yeah Yenogu Yenogu uh, he wanted he wanted to destroy the sword he hates it I don't remember where we fought him but I, I, I remember gone this now. huh oh, it's gone now it's sort of dust no, not that sword. Oh, okay. It looked like a very different sword. Oh, okay. The sword that was plunged into the ground with the temple around it was a completely different, like, looked like a very different sword than the oh, sword okay. that you guys just used. I thought that's what it was. Uh, uh, you know, you could tell it's a different sword. Okay. Um, and uh, the and Lulu was letting you know that, uh, also lets you know that she remembers the names of those two bird-like creatures. Um, they are... Where the fuck is it? Sorry, this is like all over the place. Uh, yes, yeah, so she she looks around and she puzzles for a second. She says, "Ah, oh, that's right. They were Chuka and Clunk. Ch- or Chuka and Clunk. That's what their name was. Uh, I remember they took me to a uh, to a junkyard that's called Fort Knucklebone. Uh, that's that is where." Um, that's that must have been what you saw. That would that's where the infernal vehicles were. Um, I don't remember who ran the fort, but uh, here, give me a second. And she flies out through a hole in the ceiling. After a minute or two, she tr- uh, trumpets loudly and flies back down and says, "I can see Fort Knucklebone out in the distance, um, down on the you know, down off the city, uh, probably about." 10, 15 miles away from here. We should be able to make that trip if we could get off of this rock. Hmm. Okay. Who are you shooting? Oh, okay. He's oh, testing. No, I'm just testing. Are you just testing that as well, Hackett? Yep. Okay. So, as Lulu was talking and recounting this, older Raven Guard. <laughs> kind of sits sure. up a little bit. Uh, Rhea runs over to older Raven Guard and helps him sit up and just checks her if he's okay, making sure that he's alright. Um, and uh, looks up at everybody and he's like, who who are you? 
You're fucking saviors, bro. Mm -hmm. I, my, are you, did you come here to save the city? Yeah. Pretty much. Oh, I must tell you about, about the vision that I saw that could help save the city. He basically recounts the same thing that Angst said. <laughs> I look at him like, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's what I just said. Thank you. Thank you so much for your help. <laughs> <laughs> wow. After a couple minutes, he... Oh, go ahead. Sorry. Yep. Hmm? Were you going to say anything, Vendor? Um... Oh, I thought I cut you off. I'm sorry. Fuck, what was it? Whoa. Damn. All right. So he sits up. He's still shaky on the altar. The uh, priestess had woke up as well, and she looks over at him and smiles and says, We did it! Guys! Guys, we did it! And she just kind of sits back down and starts laughing to herself um, and just seems ecstatic. That actually worked. She's like, I can't, I can't believe that worked! Oh my god, it worked! Oh! Jeez. Thanks. Hey, praise the gods. That that worked. Yeah, forget forget the dragon. It's okay. All right. Well, wow. so um, older Raven Guard looks up and says, "So if you've seen, if you've seen the uh, the visions yourself, you know that the, the, the answer to saving Avernus lies at Fort not the Fort Knucklebone, not saving Avernus, saving Elturel. Sorry, the answer to saving Elturel lies in Fort Knucklebone." I I have to stay here to protect the people um, that still remain in this in in the cathedral. Um, he, can you guys go down and, and find the answers that we need to save the city? I suppose. Sure thing. He takes a deep sigh, has a smile across his face, and we might. And he just shakes his head a little bit. He's like, "Praise the gods, we might actually have a chance to get out of this." And uh, he looks over at the priest and says, "All right, where's uh, where's everybody? Is everybody still kept in the dungeon? Or not in the dungeon, in the crypts?" She nods her head. It's like, "All right, I'm gonna go down and let's set up defenses." And they start walking down. I need a rest. So. Yeah, Why you, you guys are oh you and Rhea both. <laughs> well, short rest. So as they're getting ready to go down in, Rhea walks up to Shep, not to Shep, to Sven and says, Look, no I need to stay here and protect these people. I mean you saw they have one fighter. They have one capable person of being able to defend these people from the devils and demons and undead that are gonna want to consume them and fight over them they need somebody to stay here and protect them and i'm much more needed to them than to you guys mm. i can definitely if it's all right with you if i could keep a handful of potions just to stay safe but you can obviously help the rest of them back you understand like you have like uh you have 22 of them on just yes. you alone Yes, I. She's saying she doesn't. She understands if you would want them back, and so she's asking if she can take two or three of them and give the rest of them back to you. Hell yeah. Take as many. Oh, okay. Drink as many. Oh, okay. Have her use as many as she can now she to can get up rest. to full. Or... Yeah, she's gonna. You guys are all gonna full rest after. Yeah. If so, yeah. then take. Uh, make sure she has five. Afterwards. Five. So she 17. smiles and gives you a big hug and says thank you. I really appreciate it and I hope to see you soon to come and save us. God, you're getting I know you guys can back. do it. She looks over she looks over at all of you. So I know you guys can do it. We're if anybody could save us, it would be you guys. We're all gonna die. <laughs> she looks down at uh, Blinken and says and possibly you as well, but <laughs> Ambrose is disgusted by her hopefulness. She does not care. He's in what Ambrose form. thinks. He is really indifferent. To, she's really tired of devils and demons. He's been invisible. Pretty indifferent to what. Huh? So, 
apparently Blinken insistently um, says that he is a real dragon. <laughs> this is new. I don't remember this before. You don't? Blinken saying that she's a real dragon or he's a real dragon? From the beginning, yeah. he's been like, Blinken's I'm just like you to me. insisted that he's a real dragon. Yeah. I had no idea. Oh, yeah. Well, now you know. Yeah, he thinks so he's just she like again me. gives Sven a big hug and says, again, I hope to see you guys soon. Thank you for everything. And she runs off down into the catacombs. After returning 17 of your fucking potions. Jesus. Yeah, uh... I hope and okay. my gauntlets. Yeah. <laughs> no, she still has them. And the armor, and the weapons. No, 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 I'm not letting her leave with my gauntlet. <laughs> oh, shit. Too bad, she's already gone out that way. But, uh, while oh, she's you... running out, I'm just gonna yell out Liel after her. Uh, be safe, damn it! <laughs> oh, Just don't worry. I'll still be here when you get back. Just make it sappy, if you will. You think she can outrun me? <laughs> <laughs> you gave the bitch plate armor. <laughs> yeah. Like, uh. Do you, do you want the gauntlets back that bad? Yes! You want the what is he? What are you gonna do? Who's she'll, gonna use them? You, Me. She'll give, you, she'll give you the gauntlets. My strength is eight. <laughs> she'll give you the gauntlets. Her strength normally, I think, is what, like fifteen, sixteen. I think before uh, the gauntlets that make it nineteen. I think so. Yeah, she'll be fine. She'll suffer like a plus one to hit, minus to hit and damage. Which but she'll good. live. She's slain many a devil with you. It's all about the training. And the friends we made along the way. The friends we made and the enemies we slayed. All right. And the bitches who got us laid. Hey. <laughs> so, the next step is for you guys to figure out how to make it down from uh, this fucking place. Um down to the floor a couple hundred feet below and not be caught up in the devil and demon war and not land in the river sticks so <laughs> that you guys can make the 20-ish mile journey to Fort Knucklebone. Well, I mean, I had a solution before this before somebody nerfed my necklace. Yeah, well, I'm sorry, but that wasn't going <laughs> to happen. So where One is it of you already knows fly, so... <laughs> Alrighty, so um, I'm thinking we could start this on next session, but if you guys want to figure out how to get down and then start next session, I'm cool with that. Oh, we got a good hour. <laughs> oh yeah, I can fly. <laughs> Wait, can you fly? Yep. Wow. Look at the bottom. Fly is one of them. So oh my god! I scare two people. <laughs> <laughs> so you can fly and... They could also just levitate. With wand, uh, technically with his wand, um, uh, Chom can cast fly on three people. Oh my god. Fly is concentration. Oh, shit. On one person. No, what do you mean? I can concentrate on three people. My three brain cells can do this. <laughs> oh, that's can any of you... So, if, if Fly... If we're gonna do... If you guys do this tactfully, Fly could be cast on Shep, who could take Blinken. Mm -hmm. Oh, if we do this tactically, I can also throw somebody in a bag of holding. They just have to... We just have to get Hold down there in ten minutes. True. Oh my god. I think in theory You're I right. could carry someone. Well, well I mean, you have hold, a backup hold holding too, don't you? Does anyone have Ray's dead? Yes. Okay, I can just jump down there. Y'all can meet me down there and just resurrect my ass. No, no, no. The, prob <laughs> the problem that he vaguely he vaguely mentioned is that there, 
directly below Eldrell, there's a massive battle going on between devils and demons. Okay. Yeah, so you would need to find so, a way to fly a decent way away from if, that. If you want a Phoenix bomb guarder into the middle of that, <laughs> be my guest. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm going to do the whole Looney Tune thing. Y'all are going to find my impact site where it's legit, legitimately just the shape of me about, like, 300 meters down. Oh, God. You know, there's also kind of slightly creative solutions you guys could do, like rummage the city for things to make something to fly down. But, well, you nah. know, I love the idea, to be honest, if you hitting yourself off the edge <laughs> and getting a free raise hit. I'm just thinking of the, just the massive... I think just if you, honestly, if you wanted to try I'll... it, if you wanted to try it, and if you tied, like, <laughs> really tied, like, a blanket, a really big blanket to your back or something to kind of give you, like, a fly suit, I could probably <laughs> justify an acrobatics check to see if you can make it far enough away from the fight oh before my you God. land on the ground and die from fall damage. <laughs> Alternatively, Eltrell was a port city. There's probably a boat somewhere. We can make a dirigible. Oh my god, yes. You can make it what? A dirigible. Airship. How do you make it an airship? Make a zeppelin. Well, first we build a giant balloon. Yep. And then we have a red dragonborn to power said balloon. Oh my god. Oh That's my god. true. I hate you all. I hate you <laughs> Can we so do much. that? That's the plan. <laughs> yep. Oh, I figured it out. I'm not actually up. naked, by the way. I'm yeah, wearing no, a bronze no. crown, a corset, and a robe. Uh, it's open in the front. Of course it is. <laughs> you know, if you guys want to do a, uh, a investigation check to see if you could find a boat. Yes. Uh, plausibly, that makes sense. <laughs> yes! Wait, real wow. question. What part of that made sense? <laughs> The boat's gonna be heavy, so I'm assuming that one of you, that somehow you guys would reduce the weight a little bit. The biggest thing that you would want from that is the sails that you could then fashion into a balloon, into a little basket, put everybody in it, and just maybe cast fly on uh, Shep, uh, just just in case. Might as well just, just cast fly on the whole down. boat. How do I just uh, cast fly Amanda on the whole boat? That apparently Blinken is good at sewing. <laughs> What? I mean, technically, shouldn't I also be since I make myself costumes? Yeah. So it, you, it, the fly requires us to target a willing creature, not an object. Rip. Yeah. So, a twenty-five investigation, a crit. You manage to find everything that you need to fashion <laughs> the sails of you find multiple ships. Oh in my one god. Spot. All of these ships would allow you, they have enough sails that you could fasten it to a giant balloon. Uh, and there's enough material and baskets that you would be able to actually make like a giant basket and attach the balloon to it to make a makeshift hot air balloon. Um, I just need, does any, what, does, does anybody have tool proficiencies? Um, I think I have some. I am proficient with. Me. Kit. Bagpipes. And bagpipes. <laughs> Disguise kit and forgery kit. Any other tool proficiencies lying around? Guys, we're going what? to do drugs until this works. <laughs> Does anybody have. <laughs> Sven, do you have any tool proficiencies? Like smithing tools or leather working tools or carpentry tools or something? Uh, I would like to point out we have, tools. Entire... <laughs> we have an entire. You have like, thieves tools! You're a barbarian! <laughs> for when he feels you like being a sneaky snake. Do you have the fucking dexterity for it? Because you have the fucking stat to do everything? Yeah. <laughs> what you don't know is I'm a rogue barbarian. Oh my god. <laughs> you literally have an 18 dexterity! It's yeah. an 18 strength! Yeah. That's what he costs to do what the and if it doesn't work, I've got a 20 dex. I could help. <laughs> my little claws would be helpful. I can cast guidance. Oh my yeah, god. That I am, um, hold on. <clears throat> Fucking 8 3. <laughs> yes. Just a couple of 8 foot weirdos wandering around fucking shit up. 
We're wandering around with all our dexterity and not being noticed. <laughs> oh my I, god. I would like to point out <laughs> we have like a quarter of a city's worth of townsfolk. That's Some of true. them are probably craftsmen. That's true. <laughs> Oh my god, though I'm you sure we could just go back to the <laughs> chapel and get help. Give me, give me, give me a fucking acrobatics check. Somebody. I don't care who. You don't know, everybody. Give me an acrobatics check. Everybody, everybody. I got, got this. Everybody. everybody give me an acrobatics check. I got this, fam. Oh my the god. The DC is 10, and more than half of you need to make it, and more than half of you have already made it. Fist pump. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, oh wait, God. this is a floating island, right? And we need, and we want to go down, right? Yeah, it's so it's a city that has been is has a bunch of chains and posts on the on the side that are dra it's being dragged into the nine hells and trying to be dragged into the river Styx. I love everything about. But this. we're heading downwards, right? Yeah, you need to head off of it. Yes. Yeah. Or can't we just chop chop like a part of it off and just you know? Mm. Because that would fall down. Kill. So many people. Unless, are, are you, if you wanted to remove the chains, are you talking about removing the chains on binding? No, no, just like a small part somewhere. Just break the ground like, on the on small the part. Yeah, just break like hey, the ground hey. and just yee down. So here's my Same question. Falling. So I don't know. Here's my question though. Like, so if you take a look, like that's pretty deep. I mean, you're talking what, like 30, 40, 50 feet thick piece of land at least. Yeah. Now, what's easier, breaking through a small chunk of that to get a solid piece, or knitting some sails together and blowing hot air in it? That. <laughs> or I heard someone had resurrection magic. Oh god. I always have it prepared. Yeah, but it's expensive unless you do it on the yeah. barbarian. I got enough for five hits of it. I say we do some knitting, like a goddamn family. Create a blanket, you know. <laughs> Fucking lies. <laughs> you know, you have an acrobatics. You know, let me just report skills. You have an acrobatics. You have an investigation check. Um, God, I'm going insane. Um, my roles did a lot for this. <laughs> I hope you understand. Uh, you are the one that greenlit this. <laughs> this is true. You know, one more thing. <laughs> what? Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. So you guys have found this one <laughs> spot that is literally behind the fucking cathedral because of your wicked investigation. It's like 10 feet away from the entrance Fuck of the yeah. cathedral. You have no idea how you didn't notice it before, really. Of like 12 ships in a, just in a pile. And you're yeah. able to scavenge yeah. all the material to totally, no problem, create your own fucking hot air balloon. <laughs> You've also managed to find the remaining civilians, about a hundred civilians, you find a group of proficient carpenters huh. um, to help you make the baskets, and uh, two engineers that are make sure that the balloon has enough surface area to be able to safely bring you down. Hmm. And so, is there anything else you guys want to do up here before taking a hot air balloon over Avernus and get <laughs> on your way. Um, Is there anything to... left to do? All your rolls are great. I can't <laughs> yeah. not let this happen. I mean, I would kind of wanted to see if I can scrounge up plate armor for that I can modify for me, but I guess that's not going to happen. <laughs> um, Do you want to try to scrounge up plate armor? Sure. All right, well, go ahead and give me an investigation check. Just you. I and can't I help him. Give myself guidance. Okay. Oh. Nope. No. You found a couple scraps, but you're not sure if you you don't think you'll be able to make it into plate armor. All right. Does anybody want to do anything else? Um. I don't know. No. Uh, let's head down the. Alrighty. Let me make sure that is there anything else. <laughs> Can we assume we've rested? Yeah, everyone's okay, full rest. Okay, cool. 
it took time to build this. <laughs> well, yeah, probably like a how lot. Many days? Like two. Hey, with our proficiencies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can somebody give me a perception check? We would have done it. Right? Yes. Perception. I'm on a fucking roll. It's over now. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you managed to. You've looked around um, and managed to ensure that there's no. You don't see any issues or or any problems with the build. Um, it looks like it was all extremely successful. Fuck yeah. Okay, so just so you know, a natural 19 and natural 18 upon request. Uh-huh. Yes. Okay. <laughs> this is what we're here for. All right. So you got, you passed three separate skill checks. Oh my god. <laughs> to make this happen. Oh, fuck yeah. God damn it, shit. God damn it. Who are you damning? You letting me know. Shep, Nothing. everyone. Oh, you should probably damn my dice. <laughs> All right. As you guys are sitting on the edge, right down here in the south, right on the edge, Rhea comes over, salutes, and fucking judo kicks you guys <laughs> off of. Like, <laughs> court, takes a step back, running step, jumps into the air, both feet against the. Uh, hot air balloon and just kicks you guys off the platform. I feel like there was some um, pent up so rage. Now... Huh? I feel like there was some pent up rage. <laughs> well, yeah, because pent... she was <laughs> eyeing the kobold the entire time. <laughs> okay. Well, I was saying, you you guys have been fucking comparing her ass to fucking Wallace or whatever the fuck his name is. No. She's been super helpful. Yeah, yeah oh, she actually did something. She was actually she really helpful this time. She actually deserves credit. Yeah. Good. God damn it. No, really my only um disagreement with Rhea was I want my goddamn gauntlets back. Then you got your gauntlets back. <laughs> no. They're oh, on so your so other hoops. Over. They're on your you other think hoops. you can outrun me? <laughs> she's not trying to outrun you, she just realized that So she awesome. has now yeeted our thick asses collectively. Yeah, yeah. And you guys are now peacefully floating down if you look over the edge and you see there are probably tens, probably hundreds if not thousands of demons just pouring in a constant stream out from the river sticks and rushing straight at the pillars that are holding the chains, binding El Terrell uh, into Avernus and pulling it down. And you just see just brutal, brutal fighting. You see devils just ripping into demons with weapons and ripping them in half um and just devil uh, demons piling up on devils and just eating them just straight out eating them in combat ripping flesh um they seemed extremely just way too focused on each other to be able to notice you and in the middle right by one of the uh, the towers you see a giant devil uh, let me see if I can find a picture here to pull up. Satan. Asmodeus. Show everybody. It has the name, but... Oh. Oh, well. It's a pit fiend. Hmm. You see a massive devil that, uh, who is right next to, um, a almost had a humanoid figure uh, who has a burning red frown on top of her head and fierce, like you could see the fire in her eyes as she's just wailing and just slaying hundreds of demons. She is standing on a mountain of demon corpses. Yeah. Um, just spinning around back and forth and cutting them in half over and over um, with the fiend right next to her keeping up and just slashing through devils um you just feel an immense rage uh coming from her as you see her and she stamp out quite quite a lot um as you guys are floating on your way towards fort knucklebone you guys land probably three i would say two to three miles away from the fighting um but so you can still kind of hear the sound of the fighting um you, you can't really see it uh, he's pretty far away, uh, and you guys are ready to go on your way to Fort Knucklebone. 
Alrighty, and that is a wrap for today. That's three hours, and that ends chapter two. Everybody, I believe, can now take level seven. Oh, dang.